Greetings. Happy Tuesday. Praying all is well with everyone. Shout out to all of my brothers and sisters who are participating in Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak to you. May you be endowed with so much peace and prosperity. May all your prayers, um, uh, may you have, I should say, may you uh, have a knowing that all of your prayers are always, always and forever, forever, ever, ever gone out into an infinite source of life. And so thus it is already yours. We give thanks for your efforts and I pray that you are really um, enjoying this time as you spend it doing what I know many of you love to do. Wow. Peace, Dubar. I saw you at the jazz festival. Uh, I don't think you saw me. Peace, Yolanda. Fam, what's good? <laughs> Tell everybody I said, hey, it was so it was so pleasing to meet you um, these this uh, past few days, a few days ago. When was that? Saturday? Gosh, I feel like it's already been a week. Um, so I wanted to hop on here and talk about the stories we tell ourselves and how they shape our lives. <laughs> so there's a thing called perception. We all have a perception about things, about people in our lives, about situations in our lives. We all have a perception. Those perceptions are usually perceived due to different experiences you have had, the experience you are currently having, and maybe even some anxieties you already have. Um, but let's not be slaves to the stories that we tell ourselves. Do not be slaves to the stories you tell yourself. Um, be servants to a knowing that everything is always expanding and growing. You know, uh, everything is always working out for you. Um, that you are always, it's never going to end. You're always going to, going to want to expand. You're always going to want to strive. Uh, we pray, you know, that you always want to. It is a problem if you begin to realize that I'm not even wanting to expand, I'm not even wanting, but, um, the stories that we tell ourselves. So, you know, the thing is, as we grow up in in this society and in other societies, this applies as well. We have these perceptions uh, that we adopt um, many times through what we see on TV, what we hear in music, what we see happening in our household in our childhood what we see happening in our church what we see happening you know all from what we see happening um we build these perceptions and a lot of times people are like it's truth it's reality you know we talk about it like that but reality and this truth and your perceptions and the stories we tell ourselves can really become traps can really become traps and it's not good or bad it's, it is what it is it's just that I um, encourage everyone to really strive for a blissful existence, right? And so the only story you really should be telling yourself in order to strive for this bliss and to live your best life is that everything is always working out for me. There are infinite possibilities. Um, I'm always expanding. I'm open to expand. Um, I am uh, desiring a light heart, an open heart. Those are the type of stories you want to perpetuate in your mind. Even when you're dealing with situations that are tough situations, right? Because um, you may say, you know, people like, are you always this positive? Like, so you're saying the solution is just be positive. <laughs> I'm like, that's a part of the solution. That's most of the solution. There are other things that go with it. But, you know, yeah, for the most part, it's like, yeah, keep your stories light. Keep your stories positive. Keep your stories expanding. Do not trap yourself into a story. Like, for instance, if you're having difficulties in a relationship, are you perpetuating a story that this relationship is broken and can never be um fixed like is that the story you continue to tell yourself is this what you continue to perpetuate because that's exactly what you're going to manifest or um yeah you ain't never like some people like can't hear me can y'all hear me <laughs> i hear, hear c1 that said they can't hear me i want to make sure y'all can hear me but um you have some people who really believe that things are too good to be true like um if it comes easy, then it's not right. Or so I don't know. I don't know the sayings, but it's like everything, anything good 
it's something like anything good is gonna be hard or something like that you know or if it's easy you you won't you can't keep it or something like that like these things those are flawed perceptions you know if you keep telling that story to yourself then you're going to um you're going to see that happen in your life if you feel like you got to work for everything you got to struggle for everything you got to grind for everything you're going to be a grinder all your life and i'm good on the grind you know what i'm saying i pray i always put out in my my meditations and my prayers for ease like i'll take the ease you know what i mean like i'm good with the ease <laughs> i don't mind work you know what i'm saying but even when i work I want to enjoy it. I want there to be a level of ease, even in my in my challenges, even in my work. But if you're always speaking these type of things, you're speaking them into your life. So you got to tell the you have to tell stories that you want to live. Like we literally are scripting our lives through our thoughts, through our words, and then of course actions, which basically follow what's happening in your mind because thoughts become things. So why not change the stories you tell? I was just talking to someone yesterday who was transitioning out of a relationship and um, they're happy about the transition, but they're feeling like, um, you know, they're, they're, they're a little blowed about what happened in order to, it, that, that sparked the transition. And so I was letting them know that, you know, in order for you to manifest this relationship that you're really desiring, you're going to have to change the stories about the other relationships that you've been in. You cannot continuously tell the story of your life and your relationship as being always running into this type of person and, and they did this and they did that. You have to change it because there is something there that you want to acknowledge and give thanks for that brought the connection about in the very first place. So why not tell that story? You know, I give thanks for us connected because we connected on this level and that level. And it really helped me to see that I really like this because ultimately the things that happen in life that you really are not happy about they really just are reminders of what you do desire of what or what does make you happy or what does move you. And so there's a level of gratitude that you can have in that because the key really is gratitude. How can we change? This is a question I want us to consider. How can we change our stories so that as we tell the stories, the stories are also emitting gratitude? The stories are also in alignment with gratitude. How can we tell our, from the smallest thing, the smallest thing, you know, how, how you been doing today, man, today been tough. That's the story you're telling. Today has been tough. Today has been tough, man. It's been rough, man. It's a, I'm, I'm tired and you know, I just be, you know, I'm just real. And I'm not saying not to feel, we feel these things. I'm just saying that use your feelings as as messengers acknowledge whatever the message is that you're getting from the feeling and then move forward in gratitude because the feelings as messengers is really getting you in line what if we didn't feel you know we would be dealing with things that we are not in alignment with all the time because we don't feel the sadness we don't feel the pain we don't feel the anger we don't feel any of those things so we give thanks for the feelings but remember what the feelings are there for the feelings are not there for you to waddle in it that's why working with your sacral chakra is very important getting that sacral chakra in tune and in balance so that you're not getting caught up in your emotions and in your feelings and then thus beginning to tell these stories that are shaping your life over and over and over again i can't find a good man boy i mean niggas ain't that oh excuse me you know n word a ish you know why are you telling that story though because you gonna keep dealing with that <laughs> like why you keep telling that story ah, i just can't the economy suck i just can't find i can't get a break and you can't never find a great a break in this economy i'm good <laughs> like i'm good I, I got all type of breaks going on. You know what I'm saying? It's all type of breaks happening. You know, it's the stories you tell yourself. My family ain't ish. You know what I'm saying? Like, my family, they just duh, 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 duh. Like, if you don't have, you go back to those. You ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing at all. We don't want to hear your stories. Furthermore, on a deeper level, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get spiritually intellectual, on a deeper level, the stories we're telling are all made up anyway. The stories we're telling are all made up anyway. It's all of, you can, 
These stories you tell become your beliefs and beliefs are only thoughts you keep thinking. So you can easily shift your belief if you stop thinking those thoughts. If you stop telling that story, shift your beliefs and then your life will change. You ever met somebody who like, they always going through the same thing. They always dealing with the same type of dude. They always dealing with the same type of chick. They always complaining about the same problem. Mr. Miss, I'm going to need for you to change the stories you keep telling so that your life can change, sis. Like, even if you don't, even at first, if you don't really believe it, I just need you to stop saying it. I just need you to be quiet. I need you to stop saying it. And I need you to stop being around people who believe in that's going to keep on saying it. Because you continuously aligning yourself with that vibration and that's not what's up. Like, you want to change the stories you're telling yourself so you can shift your life. So, here's my challenge to everybody. How can you change all the stories you are telling so that they can be in alignment with gratitude? How can you tell the same stories that are not in alignment? Here are the stories that I want you to change. You can keep telling all of your stories that are in alignment with the things that you desire in life, with the vibes that you're wanting to be connected with, with the feelings you want to feel. You can keep telling those stories. That's beautiful. But any story that you keep on telling, anything you keep on saying, anything you keep on wanting to explain and you wanted to let somebody know, and you wanted to vent about it, you wanted to tell about because it makes you sad, it makes you angry, it makes you scared, it makes you, it bruises your ego, it hurts your pride. Any of those stories, I want you to figure out how you can tell those stories in a different way so that they are in alignment with what you're actually desiring out the situation, right? Yes, that water matter is popping. Give thanks. So that means, Zubara, you can hear me now. Yay! All right, so listen, y'all. I always talk about how important it is for you to watch, be watchful of your thoughts, your words that you're speaking, because we, we have so much power in our tongue. The power of the word is so much more powerful than people think, right? And prior to that word coming out your mouth, you are vibrating on a certain frequency in your thoughts. So it's very important for you to align with balanced thoughts. Like, I'm really making an effort to give myself less than 30 seconds to be thinking about things that are not in alignment with what I'm trying to see in this physical world. Because the fact of the matter is, back to the spiritual in in intelligence, when you're energetic and spiritually intelligent, you know that you have a spiritual body, emotional body, physical body. You see what came last though. Physical is the last manifestation of your entire being, your essence, right? It starts in the spiritual slash energetic world then it gets into that emotions it starts seeping into that sacral chakra then it starts to vibrate and started impacting that solar plexus and all that and yes i taught chakras because it's important um i wouldn't say important it it it, it will it's beneficial for you to understand the science of your energy centers because that really impacts how you feel, what you think, how you, you know, how you, how you rocking in this world. And so when you're energetic and your spiritual body is starting to have some kind of, you know, impact where it's not in alignment with your peace, prosperity, love, joy, all of those. That's what I call balance. That's what balance is. Peace, love, prosperity, joy, all of that good stuff. Then it gets into your emotions. The root word to emotions is you begin to emote. Now that you're emoting, you're emoting these things like, you know, this sad, the sadness, this anger, this fear, this lack of confidence, this, this doubt, all the, those different things, then it's going to impact your physical world, right? And so we can stop that when we be careful of the stories that we're thinking, then the stories that we're speaking, because then, yes, ma'am, my aunt, then... We, if we're careful of it, we begin to only see those things that we desire. Then we begin to notice that we're living our best life, a life of bliss. This is what I want. <laughs> I don't know what y'all want. I want to live this human existence in bliss. I'll take the challenges. The challenges help me grow. 
I'll take the, the, the work, whatever. I'll take all of that. I just desire the bliss. And the bliss comes through all of it. It's, it's blissful for me when I'm going through challenges because I've been through enough to know for sure. I don't believe. I don't have faith. I don't think. I know for sure that everything is always working out for me. And so although some things may make me angry, may make me sad, anxious, any of those things, I make sure I do the work. I just make sure I do the work to get in alignment because I know things are always working out for me. And I know in order for it to really work out for me, uh, I really have to stay in alignment. And when I'm out of alignment, when I'm feeling anxious, when I'm feeling stressed, then I know that, you know, I'm taking a long way because at the end of the day, once you put the desire out, once you emoting the desire for prosperity, the desire for peace and all of those different things, it's already done. But which route are you going to go? Which route? Oh, I'm telling this. I was just letting you know you dropped something, brother. Um, so, um, yeah. So, the, it's like you got it in the navigation system. The destination is already set. It's gonna. It's, it's a guarantee that you're going to get there. Which way you want to go, though? You want to go the painful route? You want to go the bumpy route? You want to go the longer route? Or you want to go the fastest, smoothest route? The fastest, smoothest route in this energetic world is when you get your vibrations balanced, you tune into, like when you start to feel the anxiety, start to do the work. Get into your meditations, get into your affirmations, start to do the work. Now, if people want to, I mean, you know, I don't really, you know, if you think I'm just this, 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 uh, sticking my head in the sand or just this, what do people call it, pacifist or whatever you want to call it, I'm cool with that. You know, I'm good. Let me keep saging, keep my Palo Santo, keep my gemstones, keep my meditation, keep all these different things going because my life is good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I breeze through the challenges. You know what I mean? It hurt. Yeah. But you know, I'm, I'm good. I have my tools and I'm going to use those tools and I'm going to be adamant about you not coming and killing my vibe. I'm going to be adamant about that. So don't be mad when I be adamant about that because this vibe is causing me to get, it's helping me to get to this blissful existence that I desire. That's, that's my main desire. You know, I have things, other things that I desire, properties around the world, car, you know, cars, all these, I love luxury things. I love nice things. I love to travel. I love brothers. I love, I love, I have a lot of things in this physical existence that I love. The main thing I desire is a blissful experience as I live out this human experience and I am living it. So I'm grateful and I know what got me there and that is what keeps me there. And that is keeping with the meditations, keeping on your square, keeping grounded, using your tools, all those different things. So in alignment with the title today, let's think about the stories we tell. Some of them are subtle. They're subtle. You got to catch yourself. Because some of the things we subconsciously really truly believe and some of the things that have been embedded in us since childhood and in this system, you know, this system of of living in this society are is it really creates some stories in our mind that we tell ourselves that's keeping us in places we don't want to be in, keeping us in spaces and vibrations that we don't want to be in. So check all of your stories, right? What are the stories you tell about yourself? What are the stories you tell about your family? What are the stories you tell about your relationships? What are the stories you tell about your money? What are the stories you tell about life in general? What are the stories you think about it? Be reflective. This is a good time. It's always a good time to be reflective. We're heading into a new moon. And so it's a great time to be reflective and release things because we're in this waning moon so we can release some of these things that we keep telling ourselves the beliefs and we can switch those things around so that as we're planting our seeds in this new moon, we can really experience some new, new, new blessings, <laughs> new life, new thinking, all that good stuff. All right. I'm done. I be trying. I always say I be trying to make sure what I do, but hey, I don't know what to tell y'all. I hope y'all got the word. Peace, Aisha. From, from Arkansas, Helen from Arkansas. 
yeah give thanks for y'all listening i hope these words are impactful it's a word if you uh if you didn't catch the whole thing it's going to be posted i also post them on my youtube channel and a little bit more stuff on my youtube channel too so if you have not gone to my youtube channel go on on over there and subscribe so that you can get a little ping when i post some things <laughs> i got other information uh educational tools and all that good juicy stuff over at my youtube channel just put in queen yen youtube it'll pop up or Yeninga Adunya, and it'll pop up. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Hey, it's the day that got the vibration of forward movement. So if it's anything that you've been wanting to really get done, go ahead and get that thing done today. Get it, get it going or get it done. This is the time. Much peace, many blessings to you as always. Love, peace.